For this infinite power tower that is shown here, we want to examine if it converges. And if it does, is, the, is it true that the value of it is, will be equal to negative 1 or not? If not, what other value? All right, to examine this quickly, let's just take a look at um, the base and the first exponent. So in the base, we have the Euler's number e. And in the first exponent, we have pi times the square root of i, in which i is the well-known square root of negative 1. So effectively, here, we have e to the pi and the square root of the square root of negative 1. For the square root of i, we have an infinite power tower, which is basically saying a square root of 2 infinitely uh, raised to itself or basically tetrated to infinity. This is referred to as a tetration or infinite power tower or hyper 4 operation. Um, so hyper 4 operation and uh, uh, the symbol for that is for tetration is the this symbol so i'm going to effectively um, write it in a, a more compact fashion so e to the pi square root of i raised to the power square root of 2 tetrated to infinity because we are saying raise square root of 2 to power of itself uh, infinite times so basically it's a infinitely repeated exponentiation um, sometimes the people show this uh, using another notation which is this way as well so square root of 2 left exponent infinity which exactly this means what I'm showing here okay uh, how do we evaluate this um, to to do that let's focus on the portion that is repeating itself infinite time this tetration so we are dealing with a type of problem that looks like x to the power x to the power x and so on and so forth as uh, question is what is the convergence requirement for this and for that, there is a very well-known study which says that in this kind of problem, in this kind of problem, as long as, uh, in, in let's say we set this whole thing equal to y, so I am setting this tetration to infinity x to the power x to the power x equal to y. Question is, when does this converge? Okay, so uh, here on the x-axis we have x and the y-axis is y. Uh, this well-known study says as long as x is maximum e to the 1 over e and minimum e to the negative e, then it will converge as a singular solution between the result for y, between 1 over e and e itself. Now the good news is the upper limit of convergence for x, e to the 1 over e, is roughly 1.44 and uh, the good news is when x like this one when we are dealing with a square root of 2 as x square root of 2 is is here so it's very close to the maximum allowable but it is in the limit so it's square root of 2 is roughly 1.41 1 .41. so that is less than the allowable limit for convergence so the good news is then this tetration will converge but to what all right so let's make the assumption that we are solving this infinite tetration that is shown here so i'm going to highlight it again i am solving this guy and let's set this equal to 2 if this whole infinite tetration is supposed to be equal to 2 this whole thing then you can see that since the ex the, f the exponent of the first base is a repeat of the y itself if y is 2 then effectively um, I can say this whole thing is x to the power 2 so x to the power 2 is equal to 2 therefore x should be square root of 2 we cannot accept the negative value it has to be a positive value therefore the answer um, the answer to the, this infinite power tower is just 2. We just showed it because when this is saying when x is equal to rad 2 then the infinite power tower of rad 2 will end up to be equal to 2. Okay so the conclusion of this is saying square root of 2 to the power of square root of 2 and uh, to the infinity or again uh, left exponent infinity for a square root of 2 becomes equal to 2. All right so therefore I am able to uh, say that at least this is converging 
and uh, I can rewrite the whole thing as e to the pi square root of i and then to the power 2 which is equal to obviously this becomes i so e to the pi i and uh, this is well known of course uh, it's a phasor so it easily becomes just uh, negative 1 so the final answer is negative 1 and uh, we proved uh, that actually this converges and it has a singular solution that is negative 1 I hope that this example is helpful in terms of showcasing uh, how we can potentially solve infinite power tower problems and uh, um, then also the notation reminding re as a reminder uh, for the notation of the power tower and hyper 4 operation uh, just as, as one last note this is also shown as a rat 2 um, so power tower uh, let's say or hyper 4 op operation up to infinity I hope that this example is helpful. Thanks for watching.